Yalundi. Yalundi. So our question for City Week is how does Adelaide support, embrace and celebrate Aboriginal culture? Our research was led by an interest to find out how Adelaide celebrates Aboriginal culture and see if we could do more. Good. All right. Ready? Today we honour the Indigenous peoples of this land, the oldest continuing cultures in human history. We reflect on their past mistreatment. We reflect in particular on the mistreatment of those who were stolen generations. Pain, suffering and hurt of these stolen generations, their descendants and for their families left behind, we say sorry. It's been 10 years since the national apology to the stolen generations, but how can we do more? Various individuals involved in Aboriginal culture shared their story to help us in our journey. And you know, this year was quite significant for Guyana people because we are the first ever Aboriginal community to get native title of a capital city. Adelaide has a significant amount of Ghana naming within the city. Each of the squares have Ghana names such as Tandang Yanga for Victoria Square. This improves the recognition of Adelaide's traditional owners. Back in the day, my father's Aboriginal, he wasn't even allowed to vote in this country, but he could go to war for this country. And the biggest challenge um, for, for kids, um, closing the gap uh, for our young people was around um, education, um, life expectancy. Some of the kids we work with uh, live, you know, 1,500 k's away. Um, in remote areas and don't have access to, um, I guess, uh, secondary education. <coughs> Sorry. If you, if you think back 20 years ago to where it is now, the, the opportunities in the sporting um, areas certainly increased. Um, and, and most of that is due to, um, I guess, the, the opportunity to access sports that probably I never had. You know, never had that opportunity before. And last Thursday, we repatriated two gentlemen back to country. So we had, you know, we, we had Aboriginal men that left Australia as men, alive, breathing, tied to a ship, went to England, were killed for tests, DNA tests, body tests. We, we live in a, in a world and we play a sport that is, um, I guess, inclusive of everybody. And we still have a way to go. Leadership, um, resilience, um, you know, trusting others around you um, in this world, um, in, in, in these environments, um, having honest conversations with each other, um, and identifying uh, social issues and, um, I guess, bringing awareness to them. Indigenous Australia is, is, is an important one. I think that learning language and learning culture gives students and adults, teaching staff, educators, a knowledge of that culture that they have. When I first started working with Kona language, uh, everyone just regarded it as a dead, extinct language, uh, not worth bothering about. Being able to educate people, so you know, a lot of the people time we see for example, the Guernsey, you see the Guernseys and, and the stories um, that are encompassed in those and that's a, an education piece in itself. So, you know, there's a lot of healing happening, a lot of well-being things happening, you know, and, you know, it's humbling that it's happening now. You know, my grandparents, you know, my grandmother wasn't even allowed to vote in this country, let alone, you know, get land back from the white Australia. It's about bringing people together. And one is, is about people that are, I guess, non-Indigenous to, to be able to feel and embrace that they're a part of that story. You know, the, the broader white Australia now is coming to terms with, you know, a long time ago atrocities did happen. They acknowledge they happened, but we're moving forward together to figure out how we can you know, live in harmony. With this. By learning the stories of various individuals involved in Aboriginal culture, we came up with a plan. Our plan is to make a change in Adelaide, a new beginning. The schools now are coming up with programs called RAP programs. So these are called Reconciliation Action Plans. We've had one going here now for 
Heights Hall for five years, which is fantastic. I've had staff from other schools ring me and contact me and I've met with them to help them um, work out and establish their reconciliation action plan. Aboriginal languages are our unique national heritage. They belong in the land, they belong in this country. And, uh, they're a key to understanding the place where we live. My wish and my dream would be to have to be a Ghana language teacher for uh, a majority of the students in the school. Language as well as culture being, being taught as a, as a subject. You know, I walked into your reception today, I saw my Ghana shield in there. You know, it makes me so happy in my heart to see that, whether it be a gift from another Ghana person in the school, but you guys are proudly showing it in your cabinet with all your other beautiful sporting trophies. So, you know, you don't understand, it takes baby steps. So to see a Ghana shield in office is awesome for us. So these steps are making us walk forward together side by side. Having a scar tree, scar tree in the parklands, not far from here where the students can go and look at the tree and see how that's changed over time. At the time we did something bad.